you're doing really well. I am in my new house! Yeah, we moved in a week ago. Um, I think I told you guys in the house. Definitely told, uh, told you if you were following me on Instagram. So we moved in a week ago, we're all settled in, and as you can see, it's rather gorgeous. So I thought I would make use of this lovely new backdrop. So I'm in the kitchen at the moment. Um, and that's sort of the door to the lounge there. So yes, it's lovely, we're really happy. So I am also, just to let you know, I'm filming on my phone. I got a new iPhone uh, just over a week ago and I thought I would give it a go to see the sort of video quality because it's supposed to be really good. And if it works on my phone, then that would be a lot easier than trying to set up the camera and getting the lighting right and everything. Um, although I have got quite a bit of sunshine coming in from the um, back door over here. So uh, bear with, fingers crossed it works. Anyway, I am here today to tell you all about a new product that I launched just over a week ago. Um, it is still in the boxes, so it comes like this. And it is a complete kit. So it is a dressmaking kit, uh, a one-off product, a limited amount so if you like it, then get in there quick, especially if um, it's something you might like as a gift for Christmas or to give someone for Christmas. Um, there's not long left before um, the last sort of posting days. So I'm wearing the top, so I'll show you this in a minute, but I shall show you inside the box. Okay, so here is as it comes. Yes, it's so gorgeous. So I've got a couple of extra goodies in here, which I'll show you first, and then we'll move on to the pattern itself. So in this little packet is some brand new pins, glass headed pins, really, really useful, especially in um, stretchy fabric as well. They are nice and sharp, brand new, perfect. And I've also included, now some of you might remember this because this I put this in my box last December, a whole year ago, and it is this gorgeous Happiness is a Full Bobbin print that was made exclusively for So Haley Jane subscribers, and I thought I would put it in this box as well because it's so lovely and there's a little bit of sparkle there as well. So it was designed exclusively for us, as I said, by um, a gorgeous company called The Lovely Little Details who uh, mostly works, does um, wedding stationery and things like that. So I will link to her Instagram page below so you can have a look. And yes, it's just so pretty, so I wanted that to go in. And I've had the great pleasure of working once again with lovely Joy from Pink Coat Club, who has created another exclusive for So Haley Jane in the colourway of the Seamstress Keychains. So it's really gorgeous. It's uh, mint green with silver, which is so exciting. I'm so happy about these. I've got mine on my keychain because um, of course I had to buy one for me too. So yes, that is in the boxes. So a couple of exclusives. And it's not Christmas without one of these. Lindor um, by Lint. Sorry, scrummy. I had to buy another box, I'll admit. We uh, bought one of the boxes home when we were moving last weekend to feed the hungry troops. Um, let's see, I had to buy another box. Okay, there was also, I should say, a matching reel of vitamin thread. Very important. So, the pattern is the Haley Ballet Top. Yes, it was named after me by Simple So, who created the pattern. So, they have released it with me exclusively for a few weeks before they release it as well. So, no one else has this pattern yet, which is awesome. And it is a really gorgeous, cozy wrap top. It's a full wrap, it's not a faux wrap. Um, and you can choose either short sleeves or long sleeves. I've gone for the long sleeves to keep nice and warm. And it's lovely, it is a really quick and easy sew. So it's super satisfying. You could easily, if you've got the time, could easily do it in an afternoon, maybe even an evening. Um, if you are lucky enough to have a quiet evening to yourself. Um, now it does say that it can be made in any fabric, nearly any fabric. So it says it's a versatile pattern that works with both knit and woven fabric. Um, I did test it out in a woven fabric and 
for me, if I was to use a waving fabric, I'd have to do a pretty seriously hefty FBA, full bust adjustment, in order for it to work. Um, yeah, it wasn't even going to cover up anything. <laughs> so I kind of, I wanted to go for a knit fabric anyway, because it's, I love working with knits at this time of year as well. It's the best thing to be in a knit top and it's all cosy and comfy. But I thought I would try it in a woven anyway and feed back to you in case you want to use the pattern. Uh, so do bear that in mind. If you are a bit large of boob, then you will probably need to do a, a full bust adjustment if you are going to make it in a woven. So that is the pattern. Um, the pattern also needs calls for some interfacing for the neckline facing. So this is a stretch interfacing um, in black. So that it, so it was either really black or white, so I decided to go for the darker colour. Okay, the fabric. As you can see, I'm wearing it, but I will show you here as well. I hope your eyes don't go too funny. Um, it is this absolutely gorgeous spandex knit, cotton spandex knit fabric. Um, it is so snuggly as well. The inside is absolutely lovely, and it's going to keep you nice and toasty. Now, the pattern for the largest size asks for 2.3 meters of a 60 inch wide fabric this fabric is wider than 60 inches it took me a while to find the right fabric that was wide enough um, but this i think was about 63 inches wide so um, there's a lot of room to play with and i also thought in case you want to lengthen it which i did for mine um, there is two and a half meters in here for you so a bit of room to play around with. Okay, so I'll show you the top and then I will talk you through some of the adjustments that I made. So here it is. It's so lovely. I'll do a little twirl for you. It's been a long time since I've shown you something that I've made. It's been a really long time, probably at least a year. Um, but yes, so it's gorgeous. I love the length of the sleeves really nice and long um, but you could adjust them you could do three quarters or the pattern has a cut off line if you want to do short sleeves as well it's a full wrap so really nice long ties as you can see that goes through a little um, hole in the center in the side seam there um, so you can do it up at the front or you could do it up at the side oh i'm getting all tangled so I made a couple of adjustments after I did the twirl completely just from the pattern um, and even though it is a knit fabric I still needed to do an FBA um, but because I'm breastfeeding my boobs are quite a bit bigger than they normally are they're current so for sort of comparison they are currently an F cup um, which is quite large so I added an inch each side because it's a wrap rather than blah, blah, blah. So two inches overall I added to the bust, that's a full bust adjustment. I didn't um, create a dart, I just sort of eased it into the side seam. Um, and I also lengthened it as well by four inches, which is quite a lot, but that's partly to do with the boobs as well. The top was coming up quite short on me to be comfortable especially after the mum toms now there as well. So I added four inches in length and two inches at the bust um, to, to sort of make it fit a bit more comfortably. I could probably still add even more to the bust to be honest, because as you can see, I need to put a little vest underneath um, for a little bit of modesty. Um, but yeah, other than that, I am so happy. It's so comfy, so snuggly. Um, couple of little tips. I My sewing machine was stretching out the neckline and I could not find um, the dial to release the tension a little bit. Uh, but I changed, so I was using a zigzag stitch and I changed to the straight stretch stitch, which worked much, much better. So if you're having that problem, then consider, I'll put a picture of it here. Um, the other thing I did is I found that the um, neckline, the facing, kept rolling out. So I tried a couple of things. I tried top stitching it down and that didn't help with the stretching. 
Um, and I posted about it on Instagram stories and the lovely Sarah from like So Amazing suggested using Wonder Tape, which why didn't I think of that before? I even included it in one of my boxes a few months ago. So I um, ironed that in this morning and it has worked a treat. So, so yeah, as I keep saying, I'm so, so happy with this kit. And there is a link below to the shop. So there's a new page on my website um, for these boxes. Um, so it's completely separate from the subscription boxes. It's a one-off kit and once they're gone, they're gone. I don't think I'll be making any more, uh, at least not in this style. Maybe um, I'll do another one next year or sometime, we'll see. So I hope you like it. Um, and yeah, if you, if you buy it and you make it, please, please, please send me a picture on Instagram or on Facebook. I really want to see. So that's it for now. I'm about to film another video back to back. Um, so you'll be seeing me in this top again fairly soon. I uh, hope you have a fantastic day. That's love.